Good day and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial video, we'll be looking at our current data model estimation using two step system journey. But before we go into the simulation proper, I would like to talk about the superiority of two step system journey. Uh, the first one is this the improved version of our two step difference journey, the augmented version. So it presents a better result. Uh, the next is it is more robust to one step. Uh, German system German and it is more efficient and robust to heteroscedasticity and autocorrelation test. Just like other variants of our German, I mean uh, one step defense German, two step defense German and one step system German. Two step system German also watch out for two peculiarities, okay? We are concerned about the autocorrelation and the instrument validity. Uh, so we look out for Post estimation test. This test is very important because it uh, gives credence to the validity of the model. So there are two important post estimation tests that must be conducted uh, after estimating panel data using two step uh, system journal. The first is the autocorrelation test, and the second is the instrument validity test. Okay, so the autocorrelation test we have the AR and the low order autocorrelation and the high order autocorrelation. We expect that low order autocorrelation be present because of the dynamic nature of the model okay and then we accept that there will be no high order autocorrelation so we expect to reject the null hypothesis of no autocorrelation for AR1 and accept the null hypothesis of no autocorrelation for AR2 for instrument validity we have Hansen and Sagan test okay and we must accept the null hypothesis for both Sagan and Hansen test to accept null hypothesis, the probability must be greater than 0.05. Okay, the null hypothesis for this uh, test is that instrument are valid. <clears throat> now let's go to stata for our simulation. Now this is stata for thing. I have my data in the I have my data imported in stata already. I come to data editor here to see my data. These these are my data. The company, okay, the cause ID. Uh, year invest here and then we have a uh, fixed capital okay I have like a uh, 10 companies yeah 10 companies you see 10 company this 10 this this cross ID they are unique identifier to each of the cross session okay so uh that is that and now we're in a state of state of thing before you can carry out panel data analysis and data you have to declare a variable as a panel data so uh, how do you declare a variable as a panel data declare your data as panel data you come here and type st set cross id yeah why did i use cross id because cross id is what i used to label the unique identifier to each of the cross session okay you could use anything. If you use CID, then you must put CID here. Okay. You press enter and our uh, data has been declared on the data. Okay. Uh, now, I have some code written somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to copy this to do file. Into a file and I'm going to paste them. So we're going to be running three simulations. Three simulations. But well, before we run the simulation, I like to uh I like to, I like to log my variables, the series that I want to use in the model. Okay. So control V. Now generate lean invest because log on invest. What this means is that the command to state that to log invest and give it the name lean invest log share and give it the name then share the same thing is applicable to this capital so i click enter the variables have been generated if you come down and you will see then invest then share and then this capital now i can now do the simulation so i come here to do file and copy the codes
Okay. I've pressed the gradient. Control V. I step on two is the estimator. This H tab on two, it doesn't come with stator, so you would need to install it in a system if you are running hundred data in your system for the first time. I mean if you're doing GMN or GMN for the first time on your or on your or using your stator. And how do you install it? You just type SSC install S tab on two. Or you must be connected to the internet, okay, to have it installed. So I have H tab on two, that's the estimator. This is used is useful for both difference and our uh, uh, system German. You have the dependent variable, the log of investment, then the lag. These are the explanatory variable, share capital and face capital in the log form, robust, no matter, lean share. Now, uh, these are the uh, exogenous, uh, exogenous instrument variable, the IV variable. Okay, this the instrument in this uh, in this column, they are high, they are strictly exogenous and this is the uh, endogenous uh, instrument the German endogenous instrument okay we have the collapse option the collapse option is to help us uh, moderate uh, our lab the, the instrument the, the number of instruments we have in the model now as the, as we have this data this data is uh, as we have this uh, uh, what do you call it this code rather this is a one step system German code Okay, by default, when you're using this table to you specify your, your code as one step. If you want to uh, estimate the two step system journey, then you have to include it. You have to include that in your, in your code, two step. So by default, that two step, what you'll be estimating is one step. Or if you put two step, then you'll be estimating two step uh, system journey. Okay, the one part, one is the, 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 the one striking difference. The only difference between system German and different German is the absence of no level equation. Okay, is the absence of low level equation because system German uses both level equation and different equation uh, in estimating uh, the parameters in the model. So we click on enter. Okay, we have our results. What do we have here? We we'll say number of group is 10, number of instruments is 22. Number of instruments is not supposed to know more than the number of the groups, so that is a turn off. Okay, they will say our, our coefficient there are not statistically significant. What's going on? They will come here. This the, the, AR1 and AR2 fill is supposed to be, uh, uh, is supposed to meet the criteria we needed. We expected that we reject null hypothesis and accept for AR1 and accept null hypothesis for AR2, but it is the opposite. And then for Sagan, Sagan is telling us that our instrument is not valid. Only Hansen shows that instrument are valid. So this is not a valid model. Uh, let's look at the second simulation. Let's run the second code. This time around, let's accommodate lag option in the, in the model. Let's activate the lag option in the model. Okay, so here, yeah, first of all, two invest, lag of investment, then share. Now we come here and put two step to declare model as a two step system German. Uh, include a lab option. This lab option is important because it helps. Uh, it helps to uh, to prevent the problem of instrument proliferation. Okay, it's minimized to the various minimum within various minimum the number of instruments accommodated in the model. So it's very important. Okay, it, it's it's uh, prevent the problem of instrument proliferation in the model. So let's click on enter and see what we have. Okay, yeah. You will see the results are quite significant. Okay, but then let's come to our estimation test. AR1 still it fails because we are supposed to reject null hypothesis for at five percent. It doesn't work, and then we are supposed to accept the null hypothesis. Here. It doesn't work at five percent. The same thing for second test. Second test here, we fail to accept the null hypothesis because the probability value is zero point zero. Only answer test. Uh, meets the criteria, so this is this is not acceptable. Okay, this is not a good model. Now let's go to the post simulation. What do we do 
if you encounter problem like this i'm going to show you in the third simulation please if you're uh, watching this if you are visiting this channel for the first time please endeavor to uh, subscribe to the channel uh, like uh, comment and share with friends thank you okay now let's look at this option look at this system one two uh what did i do okay to make sure that i get a fairly good result uh the first thing i did was to try and increase the dynamism of the model okay instead of having one lag i increased the lag to two two lags and then uh i tried to instrument one of the iv variable in gm variable okay uh the in the previous uh, simulation we did, okay, the IV variable contain both share and face capital. But then, uh, it is very possible that face capital is not entirely exogenous. It's not strictly exogenous in the model, okay. Uh, it might be highly correlated with investment. So I decide to instrument it in the GMM column. Look at it here, and then I change the lags. I change the lags. So. Uh, to correct this problem, if you're having this problem doing your uh, estimation, you might try increasing the dynamics, the dynamism in the model, okay? Increase it from 1 lakh to 2 lakhs, okay? Try and look at your instrument, if you're having your instrument, okay? Instrument that you perceive are not strictly heterogeneous could be taken to the GM and the uh, instrument column, okay? And then you might try to uh, tinker with uh, the lags in the model, and let's, let's, let's see what result we have with this bearing uh, tool. Okay. Wow. We have a good result. All of the uh, uh, coefficients they look uh, statistically significant. Okay, that is that. And then the AR1 here, yes, we can uh, confidently reject null hypothesis. That is beautiful. AR2, we can confidently accept null hypothesis. And for certain answers, we can confidently uh, confidently accept null hypothesis that instrument are valid. Uh, I want to say thank you for uh, watching this video. If you are joining this channel for the first time, please uh, I'll, I'll subscribe. Try to subscribe to the channel. Okay, try uh, let's help promote the channel. The channel. Okay, uh, like, share, and drop a comment below. Thank you for watching.